What is up guys and welcome back to another Forza video. This one is recorded literally straight after the IndyCar video I did the other day so you guys wanted to do another one so props to you guys for wanting to get involved. This one is going to be Forza um, 6 F1 cars versus uh, Indy cars around Monza. We think this is going to be the most neutral track out of all the ones we can choose from between the two cars. I've gone for an Indy car and um, well most of the people have gone for F1 cars so I think we're probably going to be finishing last. So let's get this challenge underway and see which is faster between an F1 car and an Indy car around pretty much the only oval circuit on the F1 calendar. We're off to Monza. Here we go, straight into things, no warm up. Away we go for Monza. Indy cars versus F1 cars. I think the Indy cars. Oh, Jesus! Okay, well, it's, it's RIP already on the first lap. I was just gonna say that Indy cars are faster in a straight line versus F1. Someone's gone cartwheeling through turn one. What? What an opening lap. What an opening corner. Everyone's spinning off. This is a... This is like I've turned all the assists off. It's not the case. But I think... Everyone, including myself, we're all used to... F1 2016. And this is the harsh reality that this is Forza and this handling model is completely different. People are getting wiped out left, right and centre. And I need to get myself back to the pit lane. What kind of comparison video is this, guys? This is disgusting. Oh, yep. Yeah. I've been rear-ended by someone who doesn't know what a brake pedal is. So, in terms of my Indy car right now, the damage report, it, it's quite substantial. I think I've got literally red bodywork all around the car. The steering is pretty bent. It's 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 left hand down quite a bit. That's, that's debris that's just sent me off. Cheers. And, uh, yeah, like I said, we've got to limp our way back to the pits. Thankfully, I did turn on quick stops in this race so we could potentially get away with fixing up the car but the guys who, who weren't tangled up in that first corner garbage are pretty much going to romp away with this one. What are you idiots doing? Into the pits. Damage is at 100% so that's reassuring but hopefully, hopefully once we do make this stop we can emerge in, in clear air and and not get tangled up with idiots and actually get a feel of what this indie car is like. I know it's going to be understeery, braking is probably going to be pretty terrible as well, so yeah, we'll, we'll see what happens. So it's P10 as we rejoin on the track. Hopefully from here we can only move forward. Oh look at that, wow, that is the difference between an indie car and an F1 car. Straight line speed. I was not expecting that. Here he comes again in the mirrors. I'm gonna stick to the racing line and break for the corner. The F1 car can just, it just has so much downforce. So much faster in the corners, but what, what gets me as well is it's fast in a straight line. I think maybe if we had like the low drag set up on the Indy car, maybe we could compete in a straight line, but it seems like the F1 car, I knew the F1 car was gonna be amazing, but I didn't think it was gonna be such a demon in the straight line as well. It's ridiculous. There we go, in the slipstream. I don't know if this guy is lifting off at all, but we'll see what we can do. Around the outside, through turn one. Maybe it's just a case of getting my confidence, but I don't know, what can you do? I'm just trying to keep it clean, trying to keep it consistent. That's the only thing I've got going for me right now against these F1 cars. Someone might be up my inside. Doesn't take me out, thankfully enough. And we'll get back in the slipstream of the F1 car. So it's F1 car versus Indy car versus another F1 car. It's a Indy car sandwich here and look at that, that's another GG. Thanks for coming. Ah, so much understeer through the mid corner. Cars are in the pits though on this lap so we should hopefully get in a few positions here. Hopefully a lot of cars up ahead have been squabbling and we can get ourselves a spot inside the top 10. That's P11. No, it's P12. I should have been paying attention to where I was going. Oh, Jesus, that back end, though, in first gear. Come on, man. 
Just go past me. Just go. Nice Ascari chicane. Nice back end. This guy in the F1 car is really frustrating me. He's a lap down, but he just keeps getting in the way. And he's just taken out P11. That's P9. Come on, man. Oh, it's Matt212 Gaming. I thought it was just some random idiot. It turns out he just wants a battle. Okay. Well, if he wants a fight, I'll give him one. He goes to the inside. Please leave me some space on the exit. We managed first gear much better that time. And uh, this is really not what I need. I'm trying to catch the guy in 8th. He's just 300 feet in front of me. Look at him. He's ridiculously quick. Oh, Matt! <laughs> well, rip. rip -aroni. And that's the race over. Ninth place in the Italian Grand Prix. Um, if I'm the best of the Indy cars, then I'll be happy with that. Do you like this livery? Uh, yes, it's nice. Thank you. Race results. We were the third best indie on track. The other two probably kept their noses clean. I did a 36.8 versus those guys. Wow. EVR Taylor did a 1 minute 30. Nice corners. We've got back to the lobby and a lot of the subs are putting in some pretty good suggestions for cars and track combinations that we can do but I think I might leave that for another video so if you guys are enjoying these Forza videos I've been uploading lately uh, make sure you support this video with a like or maybe a comment on what kind of cars tracks you want to see in the future uh, maybe some other challenges between racing series that we could do and I'd be more than happy to try that in the future but that's been this video for today a little bit of a short one but uh, I'll uh, make up for it in the next one. Thank you guys so much for watching. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. And see plenty more F1 gaming videos. I'm sorry about the dreadful driving. Hopefully we can improve. I am not a Forza player by any means. But um, need to get my practice in. And uh, we'll see how we go. Until my next video guys. I'll see you next time.